welcome student this is video lecture for for pch4802 unit 1 protecting group uh, carboxylic acid and um, aniline but here we are going to discuss regarding only carboxylic acid i am dr devang arpandya from department of chemistry st javier's college autonomous ahmedabad let's begin with the principle of the protection of carboxylic acid group that is RCOOH proton removal from carboxylic acid uh, presents a threat to potentially valuable organometallic regions resulting in an alkane and a metal carboxylate here is the reaction given Carboxylic acid is going to treat with this. We are going to get the substituent group uh, metal over here and it going to give us metal carboxylate. Uh, as far as metal is concerned, either we can take uh, lithium, magnesium, bromide, etc. So that we will take and we can get this reaction. If the so formed carboxylate leads to an undesirable secondary uh, reactions and the organometallic reagent is readily available then use of an excess of reagent can bypass this problem. Usually neither of these requirements applies and suitable carboxyl protecting groups are needed. Furthermore, protection against enolization or attack by nucleophiles may be necessary and few protecting groups meet all these requirements. Esters and amides remove the problem of the carboxyl proton and the latter provide good, good protection against many nucleophiles. Furthermore, in the principle of the protection of carboxylic group, the carboxyl protection is required during the condensation of two amino acids. Here the example is given two amino acids with the aid of a coupling agent to form a new peptide bond. To prevent the formation of self-condensation products, one amino acid required a free carboxyl group and a protected amino group. The other requires a protected carboxylic group and a free amino group. So here you can see that the amino group is protected and will going to have a free carboxylic group. Now here you can see the carboxylic group get protected and we have free amino group and we are going to get the peptide linkage over here. The carboxylic protecting group merely has to prevent the protected acid from competing with uh, the free acid for the coupling reagent and esters of various types are usually sufficient the exact choice depending on the need to deprotect the carboxyl uh, terminus selectively in the presence of the nitrogen protecting groups and any other a reactive functionality for example we have benzyl ester and benzyl ester may be claved by hydrolysis or by catalytic hydro uh, hydrogenolysis third butyl esters are claved by protecting uh, protic acid uh, the example of protic acid is trifluoroacetic acid and have the advantage that they block nucleophilic attack at the carboxyl carbon to the extent that the alpha amino tertiary butyl esters are stable even as their free base bases other may form uh, diketo uh, op uh, parazines that is phenyl esters are claved rapidly by catalytic h2o2 in aqueous bmf at the ph 10.5 here you can see that the keto uh, piperazine formation uh, disfavored when you are going to take this rds as tertiary butyl group the bulkier group so we're going to uh, get this 
disfavored reaction there. Here you can see the phenyl group is there and H2O2 will going to treat it over here and will going to get this function on H2O2. Most commonly esters are used as protecting group for carboxylic acids. However, amides and hydrides have also been used to protect carboxylic group in certain cases. Now let's take ester as a protecting group for carboxylic acid that is COOH group. If Mary masking of the acidity of a carboxylic acid is required and there are no particular limitation or protecting group removal, a simple alkyl either you can take methyl or ethyl ester will serve the purpose. But if it is necessary to protect against nucleophilic attack or the substrate is sufficiently complex that ester cleavage has to be unambiguous then spe special esters will be required. Among the special esters the example are tart butyl and benzyl esters are the most commonly used esters. The tart butyl groups offers moderate protection against nucleophilic attack and is readily removed under acidic conditions. The benzyl group is usually removed by selective hydrogenolysis or dissolving a metal reduction. You can see in this uh, methyl ester is this is the formation of that so this will these are the example which indicate the uh, protection of carboxylic group using uh, converting it into methyl ester here you can see that estery group is there estery group is there estery group is there so it will convert it into methyl ester and that way we can protect this carboxylic group the deprotection will be taken place in this fashion. Here you can see the cleavage is given. So methyl ester treating with uh, magnesium silyl chloride will in presence of sodium iodide and uh, cyanomethane will going to get the carboxylic group back. Here uh, the substituent R that should you can take as alkyl, aryl or hindered acid. Here also the uh, methyl ester uh, treated with this will going to get it back. Uh, treated with tribromide boron will in presence of uh, dichloromethane will going to get our carboxylic group back. So that way you know, methyl ester uh, easily declaved or uh, deprotonated and will going to get our compound back. These are further more example of methyl ester converting into carboxylic group. that is A, this one is B, B in which we need to study the tetrahydropyranyl uh, that is THP ester tetrahydropyranyl uh, group, this pyranyl group and this is the estery group and how it will going to protect uh, carboxylic group and then we will going to learn how it will going to deprotect it. So here the formation and cleavage that means protection and deprotection both are given carboxylic acid when going to treat it with this uh, in presence of uh, hydroxide and uh, dichloromethane will going to get uh, this tetrahydropyranyl ester. Uh, similarly that tetrahydropyranyl ester treating with this as a alcohol in presence of THF and water will going to get our carboxylic acid back. So here protection and deprotection using this tetrahydropyranyl ester is given. Next one is the tetrahydrofuranyl ester. This is furanyl group and this is acetate group and that is going to protect and deprotect the carboxylic group. In this fashion monochlorofuranyl group is going to treat it with acid. In presence of triethyl azide and tetrahydrofuran will going to get this uh, tetrahydrofuranyl ester that tetrahydrofuranyl ester undergo cleavage and will going to get our carboxylic acid back 
नेक्स्ट इज द डाइफिना सॉरी नेक्स्ट इज द फिना फिनासिल एस्टर दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ फिनासिल एस्टर इज गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट द कार्बोक्सिलिक ग्रुप इन दिस फैशन दिस इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ दैट and it will going to form this uh, phenacyl ester and that phenacyl ester undergo the cleavage that is the proto uh, protection uh, using this reagent and will going to get our carboxylic group back as an illustrated in the above cleavage uh, a phenyl ester is much uh, readily cleaved by nucleophiles than the other esters and phenacyl esters are stable to acidic hydrolysis uh, either in the form of hcl concentrated hcl in the form of hbr and as alcohol uh, 50% uh, trifluoroethyl carboxylic acid uh, and dichloromethane in presence of hydrogen fluoride or hydrofluoric acid will going to get this uh, kind of acid hydrolysis and this phenacyl ester is stable to this acid hydrolysis now ethyl ester how it will converted into ethyl ester to protect the carboxylic group so here the carboxylic group is given this is the formation by treating with different reagent will going to convert it into ethyl ester so this is a protection of carboxylic group using ethyl ester now we'll going to see how deprotection uh, using ethyl ester will take place this is the cleavage these are all ethyl ester treated with trimethyl monochlorosilane and in presence of sodium iodide and cyanomethane will going to get the carboxylic acid back similarly these are the other reagents will going to treat with ethyl ester and will going to give us give our carboxylic group back so this is a deep protection of carboxylic group now next is the butyl ester butyl ester uh, this is the form of butyl ester and that way will going to protect the carboxylic group a combination of uh, inductive stabilization and the strain release on ionization are the basis of the acid liability of uh, protecting groups based on the tertiary butyl group uh, the hydroxyl group in alcohol and the carboxylic uh, acid and the uh, thiols that is sh group can be directly protected by isobutane in the presence of a protic or a lewis acid usually that is h2so4 or either you can use this trifluoroborane uh, ethyl oxide uh, respectively handling of isobutane as a gas or in condensed form can be inconvenient and therefore the method have been devised for generating tertiary butyl as a cation from more uh, convenient pro uh, procedure uh, as for example tertiary butyl alcohol treated with h2so4 or either magnesium sulfate or either tertiary butyl ester may also be reproduced by uh, traditional esterification techniques the tertiary butyl group provide excellent steric shielding of alcohol hinders nucleophilic attack at the carbonyl group of tertiary butyl ester and prevents oxidation of thiols to disulfide and being easily removed by acid is a popular choice when the protection of highly functionalized molecule take place so let's study the formation of protection and deprotection using this butyl acetate deprotection take place rapidly with uh, uh, trifluoroethanoic acid that is tfa uh, and then these are other reagents and among them this is the more selective reagents in each case protonation and ionization are followed by pro proton loss uh, giving isobutene in an even process and the reverse reaction being minimized by running the deprotection in the diluted solution in the diluted solution here the protection and deprotection of this group has been demonstrated over here you can see this uh, unsaturation where the proton is going to be liberated so the proton when come closer it's going to donate its pair of electron over here and the carbon carrying slightly 
delta positive charge so nucleophilic hydride will going to attack on it and uh, it's going to carry the positive charge on nucleophilic group the hydride will going to remove as proton and will going to get the substituent nucleophiles attached on this uh, tertiary butyl group so tertiary butyl ester are stable to mild basic hydrolysis to hyd hydrazine and to ammonia they are cleaved by moderately acidic hydrolysis tertiary butyl and tetrahydropyranyl esters have a similar reactivity towards acid and bases here are the example for, for protection of carboxylic acid using different reagent into this tertiary butyl ester is given now here you can see the cleavage that is the protection of uh, uh, butyl esters these are the butyl ester using different reagent we can cleave this and get our carboxylic group back next that is the alkyl ester this is the formation how alkyl ester is going to be formed so uh, the methyl ester is treated with this alkene group and we're going to get the alkyl ester and this is the cleavage and we're going to get our carboxylic group back so protection and deprotection will take place in this patient phenyl ester and para nitrophenyl ester this is the protection and this is the deprotection in different reaction condition we're going to get this so para nitrophenyl ester has been used for the protection and activation of carboxylic group in peptide synthesis that is its application next benzyl ester benzyl ester are useful for protecting groups because they can be cleaved by hydrogenolysis this is the formation of benzyl ester so carboxylic group treated with this phenyl derivative will going to get the benzyl ester uh, similarly this one will going to give us benzyl ester where we have blocked the primary amine by a protecting group as well uh, this is the cleavage of this phenyl ester by different reagent uh, re reducing agent or different kind of reagent and we're going to get our carboxylic group back the catalytic transfer hydrogenation can be used to deprotect benzyl ester in some compounds that contain sulfur a poison for hydrogenolysis catalyst uh, is uh, going to be observed in these examples these are certain other example where by using some reducing agent we're going to get our carboxylic group back now triphenyl methyl ester the triphenyl methyl ester are unstable in aqueous condition but are stable to oxy uh, mercuration this is the formation of it and uh, as far as metal is concerned we can take silver potassium or sodium metal uh, this is the cleavage deprotection and we're going to get our carboxylic group back triphenyl methyl ester have been cleared by electrolytic reduction at 2.6 volt minus 2.6 volt this is silyl ester silyl ester are stable to non aqueous reaction condition a trimethyl silyl ester is cleaved by refluxing in alcohol more substituted silyl esters are cleaved by mildly acidic or basic hydrolysis uh, this is the formation of uh, silyl ester and this is the, the uh, this, that means protection using silyl ester and this is the protection using silyl ester similarly this is trimethyl ethyl silyl ester this is the formation of triethyl silyl ester and this is the protection and we're going to get our carboxylic group back now second is the amides and hydrazides uh, we can use as protecting group for carboxylic acids uh, to a limited extent carboxylic groups have been protected as amides or hydrazides amides are hydrazide amides and hydrazides are stable to mild alkaline hydrolysis that cleaves esters esters are stable to nitrous acid effectively in cleaving amides and to oxidizing and to oxidizing agents including uh, tetraacetolate 
मैंगेनीज डाइऑक्साइड सेलिनियम डाइऑक्साइड क्रोमियम ट्राइऑक्साइड एंड सोडियम हाइपो सोडियम हाइपो आयोडाइड डाइमिनो हेक्सा नाइट्रो सीरियम एंड डायसिटोक्सीट दैट हैव बीन यूज टू क्लेव हाइट्रोजाइड amide as a protecting uh, group for the carboxylic acid uh, amides have been prepared from an ester an acid or an acid chloride uh, and an amine so here all the examples for formation is given and this is how we can clave and get or uh, deprotect and get our carboxylic group back another example for amides and hydrazides as protecting group for carboxylic acid this are the where the hydrazides as protecting group for carboxylic acid hydrazides have been prepared from an ester an acid or an acid chloride or hydrazine so these are the example of different reagent as i've said and we're going to get our hydrazides and that hydrazides have been cleaved by using these different reagents to get our carboxylic group back well this is enough from my end uh, thank you for paying attention to this video lecture i hope you have enjoyed this and uh, if you have any doubt or question please feel free to ask anything thank you